sight of the season. There are trees adorned with lights just about everywhere this time of year, from big city displays to those in our own homes. Why then are people traveling sometimes hundreds of miles just to see one decorated tree in a small Texas town? Well, we sent Janet Chamley in there to find out. Hey, fella. On her 10 acres in Bartonville, Texas, Barbara Nunnally has a couple of horses. Come on. And a wide open field with a craggy old tree. In the daytime, it's just about a 60 foot, 150 year old pecan tree that has really good pecans. Other than that, there's nothing special about it, she thought, until a landscaper suggested lighting it up. And he was out here one day and kind of went, you know, I could make that pecan tree spectacular. We asked about the price, mm -hmm. and I said, well, we're not going to be that spectacular. <laughs> it was expensive. It was. But her dad's terminal cancer led to a change of heart. She wanted to surprise him. The tree was soon surrounded by heavy equipment and workers and a ridiculous number of lights. And imagine every branch, every limb, every little bit of what you see is totally lit up with 65,000 LED lights. As the sun was setting that Thanksgiving night, now 16 years ago, they flipped the switch. It was breathtaking and nobody said a word. It was just silent and then this happened. But her dad was too sick to come. He died the next night. Your dad was not here to see it. He was, well not down here exactly, but he saw it. So did her neighbors. Word spread quickly in the small town of Bartonville and then beyond it. Did you ever think that doing this for your dad would turn into this sort of mass attraction in Bartonville? No, heavens no. People started sending her glorious photos of the tree and there were other souvenirs from the questionable. All these are exactly the same, nine of hearts and they were strewn about all under the tree to the quintessentially romantic. It began with this initial letter. So this is a young man who left a note asking if he could propose under the tree. Over the years, the question has been popped here at least seven times, which Nunnally calls... Ironic. I made my living as a divorce lawyer. But no one doubts this is an act of love. What happens if a light goes out? Is it like your Christmas tree? You have to replace the whole tree? Gratefully, no. Grateful is a word often used by fans of the tree. I like the, just the beautiful light. As night darkens, the crowds grow. What I find is that we've had so much darkness in the last four years with COVID, with Ukraine, with so many things going on that I wanted the kids to see light and it's kind of a reminder that there is light in the world. It's that sentiment that inspires Barbara Nunnally. Is there any circumstance in which you would not light the tree? I can't think of one. It's too special, and it's only special because we get to share it. A simple Texas tree becomes a holiday Cinderella. This one, no fairy tale. It's so awesome. For CBS Saturday Morning, Janet Shamlian, Bartonville, Texas. Aww. Barbara, Janet, oh my uh, God. Gorgeous. I mean, I know it's behind you. I kind of just want to step it. out of the no, way that, here. So it we doesn't even do it just yeah. those look shots. Look at that. Can we zoom in or anything? I mean, it's just, it, it did look amazing. It yeah. really is. But, yeah. And a small gesture like that, the, the, I mean, I know it cost a lot, but that she wanted to do that for her dad and now everybody who reaps the benefit of that, so wow. Beautiful.